happy Easter Sunday if you celebrate because you'll be watching this on Easter Sunday, although I'm obviously, this is a, the Sunday prior because yeah, my videos go up. Well, you know the drill. Anyways, good morning. I just did a Mad Fit arm routine and it was pretty good. Thank you guys for recommending it. If I remember, I will link it down below in the description box. I try and do that from time to time, but I often forget. Anyways, yeah, I um, got dressed um, and then I got some water on my shirt because I was drinking water. Uh, and I'm gonna put on my sunscreen. I am trying to finish up this MD Solar Science tinted sunscreen. I love it, I'm almost out of it. I've been alternating between this one and then the Color Science Even Up. I really like this. This is almost like a foundation, not a foundation, but it really provides very nice uh, concealage coverage. <laughs> um, so I've been liking that. Dang. Oh, snap. I got it on my shirt. <laughs> Uh, one tip for getting sunscreen out of uh, sunscreen stains out of uh, clothing, like when you first get it on, is to use a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol to lift it on. Yeah, I'm definitely finishing this up today. I like wearing this sunscreen. It's really, it gives pretty good coverage. It's tinted. So I often get questions about, you know, I do a little workout in the morning. People are always like, why don't you take a shower afterwards? Because it's only like a five to 10 minute workout. I don't work up a sweat and I work out at night. That's when I do my cardio, like that's when I run. And so I need to take a shower after that. But I can't be taking showers every like, every time I move <laughs> my body. I mean, I walk like in a, in a given day, I end up walking close to six miles a day. Um, just moving around and stuff if I track my steps and I'm not like bathing all the time. I mean, yeah, I only bathe once a day. Although in the summer it's so hot and sweaty that I feel like I need to bathe more. Oh, last night I finished my book. It was so good. I'm gonna film my monthly favorites video for you guys, which actually you probably have already seen because you, yeah, it's watching me in the future so yeah uh, I, I really enjoyed that book Ugh, it was good I'm trying to decide what to read next if I should get um next time I go to Costco maybe I'll pick up that new Kristen Hanna book have you guys read it is it good I enjoy all of her books I might put them I might go to Walmart today too. I kind of want to look at the, I have this thing in my pantry that I love. It's like a little Lazy Susan organizer thing that I got at Walmart a few years ago. I'm contemplating getting another one because it's really useful. I purchased another Glossier Lash Lick because this is a mascara I have liked a lot in the past. And then I discovered the Thrive Cosmetics Lash, whatever, their mascara, my favorite. <clears throat> and so I was like, well, I'll give Glossier another try and see how they compare, because it's been a while since I've used Glossier. Hands down, Thrive wins. Glossier is still good. Um, this is their Lash Lick, but the Thrive one is much better. Yeah. I feel, I, it almost seems like they changed, did they change the formula of the Glossier one? I feel like it used to be like a tubing mascara and it's not that way anymore. Am I making things up? I can't remember. It's still pretty good though, but it doesn't compare to Thrive.
All right, I need to get some coffee in me so I can I can be a lot more chitty chatty. What coffee should I crack into? Um, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to let you guys vote, although that's not a possibility. I've got quite a few here. I have this Kuvi, oops, Kuvi from West, West Pole Dark Roast. That sounds good. Oh, it's from Austin. Maybe I'll do that one. I also have, this one says cacao nibs, peanut butter, and a hint of cherry. It's got roaster of the year. I may have to try that one. And then I, of course, have good old Four Siggy here, good old Reliable. I think I'm going to try this greater good ones. I'm intrigued by cacao nibs, peanut butter, and hint of cherry. Am I going to like this? I don't know. Two tablespoons of coffee per six ounces of water. Yeah, I got these coffees from my trade subscription. I love that. Um, I end up getting to try out a lot of fun coffees. Where is this company from, this? Greater Goods Coffee. It's a Brazilian coffee. Dripping Springs, Texas. Another Austin, Texas based one. Alrighty. Let's give it the whiff. Ah, that smell. I can, I can, I can get the peanut butter. I can smell a little bit of the peanut butter. I wonder if it's actual peanut. Like if you have a nut allergy, you have to avoid. I'm a little Bialetti scooper here. I'm gonna do. Mmm, I'm excited for this. So, today you guys are watching this, it's Easter Sunday, and the marketing gods that they are have decided that <laughs> what better opportunity to, to sell, 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 and they decided to deem this vitamin C day. So you're probably being bombarded with ads for vitamin C serums. Y'all, just skip that. Eat your fruits and veggies. Relax. Wear your sunscreen. Drink your coffee. You don't need that. I feel like our lives have gotten unnecessarily complicated. Like we have too much to worry about that doesn't matter. I always do six minutes on my French press. I don't know where I came up with that number, but it seems to be the magic number. I am sitting in this like corner and I'm hovering in midair talking to you guys. This little spatula, I've gotten into swizzling my French press and it definitely makes a difference in the bringing out the flavor notes of the coffee. I know the lighting is poor, but I don't have any coffee in my system yet, so I don't have the, I don't have the, <laughs> the drive to go and get a light for you guys. So I'm just gonna chill in this dark corner of the world and wait for the light. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, they decided that Easter Sunday would be the appropriate time to bombard everybody with vitamin C propaganda. All right, while we wait for the coffee to get ready. I'm going to unload my dishwasher. <clears throat> and as I do that, I'm going to contemplate my mug choice. Should I do the Dr. Dre mug? I love this one. It's really good. I love all of my mugs. This one, the prescription one, is too small. I've been drinking um, hot beverages, non-coffee beverages out of this. <laughs> like, okay. Um, at nighttime. This is perfect for like... I like to have uh, one of my um, peak teas in this. So I've been drinking out of that. I haven't drank out of this one yet. I think I might christen the Mickey mug with 
with the, uh, I think I'm gonna do that, because y'all are celebrating Easter. Well, if you celebrate, <laughs> I'm gonna pull out a Christmas mug. This is my dinner plate. <laughs> I, what does it say about me? I don't really have like <clears throat> normal plates like normal people do because like it's not like I'm gonna set a table <laughs> and so I just eat off of this plate. <laughs> I'm back here at Walmart because I kind of want to try this Canopy Pore Perfecting Serum Cream. Um, it's got hemp seed oil in it and it's a chemical sunscreen so I kind of wanted to try it. Uh, get this Cetaphil Healthy Skin Essentials Kit. Looks like a good one. Time and True has some cute sandals for summer $14.98. I like these. They look comfortable. Are they are they faux leather? I hate it when you can't tell. Well hey guys, I am back from Walmart and I just finished a run. But you know I went in Walmart thinking I was gonna get that Garnier product. And I had it in my cart, and those carts in Walmart are huge. They don't fit down all the aisles. So I left my cart at the end of an aisle and walked down an aisle to look at something. When I came back, my cart was gone. I thought, oh, maybe I'll put it somewhere else. Spent like, I don't know, five minutes looking for it and figured that somebody grabbed it for their own use and took that sunscreen with them. And I went back to, to the cosmetic section. <laughs> Let me turn off this. And there were none left. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hopefully that person, maybe they bought it and are using it, which is good because I just really don't need another one. I just wanted, you know, to see what it was like. As I've said, ooh, <laughs> package delivery. As I've said, in, in videos before crime is we have a lot of crime here especially that walmart you have to be careful um it's not it's just that area there there's a lot of crime like that parking lot in particular i have always i always hear stories of like people getting their purse snatched so yeah i actually i contemplate from time to time just abandoning carrying a purse for like safety reasons and i know that sounds like a little over the top, but if you don't have a purse on you, then they're less likely, one would hope, to, you know, shove you and try and grab it or something like that. I'm gonna do my stretching. You know what that was? That package that was just dropped off? I need to bring it in. It was an eye herb package. So I'll share with you guys a little eye herb haul. Before I do that, I'm just gonna mist myself with some of this. Um, antimicrobial hypochlorous spray. I like to spritz this on myself before I lay down and do stretching. Yeah, with that hypochlorous spray, see, you can spray it on the skin and it reduces the burden of bacteria on the skin. 
that would otherwise like break down your oils and your sweat, cause body odor and flares of acne. But it's super gentle. You can leave it on the skin. It doesn't cause irritation. Um, it's hypochlorous, which is something that your body naturally makes as part of your immune system to fight off like infections and stuff. And once, once it goes to work or whatever, it just converts to saline. So it's basically like salt water. Um, and so it's safe to leave it on the skin. You don't have to rinse it off. <laughs> and it's gentle enough that you can use it um, around your eyes. You can use it like as part of eyelid hygiene if you are somebody who gets um, styes a lot. Um, that hypochlorous actually can help with eye. You can just pour a little into like a cotton ball and like do it as a soak for lid hygiene. You can you can spray it on your face. I like using it actually um, to spray on my face before I have to like put the mask on. I think it helps cut down on mask me and just kind of reduce the bacteria on the skin that you know can aggravate your skin with the mask, you know what I'm talking about. All right, I ordered some things from iHerb that came in, so I thought I would show you guys. I got um, more of the California Gold Hydration Up electrolyte drink mix sticks that I like so much. This is the variety pack. Um, they're similar to these, the Ultima Replenishers, but a lot less expensive. I actually prefer these, to be honest with you. Um, but I haven't had Ultimas in so long, I decided to get a box of them as well in the cherry pomegranate flavor. I like to have these actually after my treadmill run. I also got some of the Miracle Rice. This is a shirataki, it's like the shirataki noodle, same thing, just cut up into these little tiny um, pea-sized like rice grains. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Um, it doesn't have any taste. I just mix it in with oatmeal um, and it adds just a nice source of prebiotic fiber. I really like them. They don't taste like anything until you cook them in with other things and then they just kind of assume the flavor of whatever you're cooking. So I enjoy shirataki stuff. I also got some Let's Do Organic Unsweetened Shredded Coconut. I like to bake with this or sprinkle it on smoothie bowls. And then I saw these. I love the Edward and Son brand, Edward and Sons brand, these Carino wafer rolls. They remind me of those um, cookies that come in the tin, but those are not vegan. And these are, so I got the cocoa flavor and the hazelnut flavor. I got some more arrowroot starch. I use this in my slow cooker applesauce to thicken it up. It's basically an alternative to cornstarch. You can use it in gluten-free baking too. Anyways, these are delicious. I was, I've been so surprised with how good these are. This is the Coco Mel's brand, but they came out with sugar-free vegan caramels. These have allulose in them, which is what is in Smart Sweets. So if you like Smart Sweets, and you're looking for a vegan-friendly caramel, try these. They're made with coconut milk. Really, really good. So I got two bags of the regular coconut milk caramels and two bags of the coconut milk with sea salt. I also got some ginger juice for baking. I got some Dr. Tung Smart Floss. This is my one of my favorite dental floss. Is. Um, I got about uh, a bag. I got a box of these Julian Bakery Pegan Thin protein bars. These are pretty good. Um, the vanilla cinnamon twist flavor. Um, I like to have these on hand uh, for a little protein bar. But one more thing, I just got a second smaller box, which is kind of odd. Anyways, I reordered my Natural Calm. I love to take this um, once a day. It's just a magnesium supplement. I take two teaspoons. I like this one, the Muscles one, the watermelon flavor. And I saw they got an apple cinnamon. So that looks good. Yeah, it helps. I. Uh, Sometimes I get like uh, Charlie horse cramps in my calves. And since I started using the magnesium supplement, that has gone away. This is a nutritional yeast that I use. Love it. This is seriously the best. The cow brand. Um, uh, it is, it's a source of B12, but it has like a cheesy taste. Um, so I really like it. And like I said, this is my favorite brand. 
this I haven't had in a while and I've been craving it. Dulce, I know. <laughs> who who craves uh, sea vegetables? I do, I enjoy them. And dulce is, um, it doesn't taste like nori. It it, it's got a unique, a distinct taste. And the consistency of this dulce is such that it's almost like a vegan version of like um, ham. So I like to take a little bit of this and wrap it around cantaloupe or banana. I happen to think that that combination of salty and sweet is rather delicious. Here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Anyways, guys, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here, take a shower and uh, relax. Um, but I hope you had a great weekend and thank you so much for making it to the end of the vlog. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.